Hey everyone, it's Dr. Angela here. Uh, I used to sell these, but I don't anymore. I used to sell these, but I don't anymore. I used to sell these, but I don't anymore. These are prote bars. Okay, these are uh, these are protein bars that I used to sell, protein bars and shakes that I used to sell in my clinic. If you don't know me. I'm an obesity medicine specialist and I practice in Olympia, Washington, and I'm also the founder and creator of Journey Beyond Weight Loss, an online program designed to help people lose weight and keep it off. Now, my patients were sort of miffed when I stopped selling this stuff, but I have good reasons and I wanna explain that to you today. So this last fall, I was in Boston at an obesity medicine conference and I learned about a really interesting study. And here's what they did in this study. It was called a metabolic ward study. So they took 10 men and 10 women and they put them in a hospital ward at the National Institutes of Health and they couldn't leave for 28 days, okay? So this is four weeks of time that these people were sort of stuck on this ward and they monitored every morsel of food that these people ate. So they offered them uh, three times a day twice as many calories as they knew their bodies needed worth of food um, over the course of the day. So, so for the first, they divided them into two groups. For the first two weeks, one group got all of their food as processed food and, and the other group got all of their food as real food. And then for the second two weeks, they flipped it so that um, the people have been getting processed food, now got whole food. The people who were getting whole food now got processed food. And they matched the food for uh, macronutrients. And what I mean by that is the same amount of calories were coming from proteins, from fats, and from carbohydrates. Whether it was processed or whole food, the same amount of calories, um, the, the same macronutrients were offered to them. Okay, so... Four weeks later, they've done measuring all the food. What did they find? The results are fascinating. What they discovered is that those people, when they were eating processed food, they ate on average 500 calories a day more, and they gained an average of one pound a week. When they were eating whole foods, they ate 500 calories a day less, and they lost weight. Interesting, huh? So the question is, what's going on here? What is it about the processing of food, the industrialization of food? Well, there's a lot of research on this. Um, as it turns out, uh, they have discovered that most, that a majority, Americans get about 58% of their calories every day from processed foods. And by that, I mean uh, soft drinks, like processed noodles, um, baked goods, uh, processed packaged snacks, uh, reconstituted meats like chicken nuggets and that kind of stuff. Um, just a whole rash of food that has been actually industrialized and made in a factory. 58% of the calories. And as a matter of fact, 90% of added sugar comes from these processed foods. Okay. So, the research shows that there is something about processed food that causes us to not feel a sense of satiety. And by that, I mean a sense of satisfaction. So when people are eating processed food, they tend to eat more frequently, they tend to eat more calories, and they tend to gain weight. Um, a diet that's high in processed food is associated with more high blood pressure, more um, cholesterol issues higher blood sugar, prediabetes, diabetes, and of course, obesity. And I have a colleague whose name is Dr. Robert Lustig. He is a researcher in the field of obesity medicine. He said right out loud to a whole group of those of us who um, are obesity medicine specialists, he said, we need to call a spade a spade. And we need to call type two diabetes what it really is, processed food disease. He got a standing ovation. So 
Um, so we all recognize that. Those of us in the field definitely recognize that processed food is the issue. This study just showed us how big of an issue it really is. If you can eat an extra 500 calories a day because you're eating processed food. Eating processed food is also associated with uh, shorter lifespans, early deaths from cardiovascular disease and from um, cancer. So, so what about this stuff? Guess what? This is what I call pseudo healthy processed food. Okay. This actually has a lot of these factory made ingredients in it. It's got, um, for example, this one, it's a protein blend. Well, what does that mean? Right? It's got, um, hydrolyzed gelatin and glycerin in it. Uh, some of these other things, so they've got sweeteners in them and sweeteners will also trigger a dopamine response in the brain. And so I'd have patients who'd come in and, you know, they're used to eating processed food. They're used to eating quick stuff. And so instead of eating the unhealthy processed stuff, they would just turn to eating a lot of bars and shakes instead, or they would be eating processed meats and cheese products, that kind of thing. And they would lose weight, but invariably they wouldn't be able to keep it off. And I think the reason is that their brains just never were fully healing. Okay. They were still never getting the satiety signals correctly. They were still getting triggered by the sugar and uh, getting that dopamine triggering in their brain. And so I decided that this isn't good. This isn't good. And I'm not going to eat it anymore. And I don't want my patients eating it anymore. And I'm hoping to convince you that this pseudo healthy stuff, and I'm not just saying this brand, I'm talking about all of these brands that are out there that are, you know, the, the quick on the go protein bars and shakes and that sort of thing. There's something about the processing that really messes up the food. And we really just need to be eating real food. So I don't want to leave you hanging. What are you going to do, right? Here's what I recommend. Go to the grocery store, go to the produce section, stay on the outside, the periphery of the store, go to the produce section and buy a lot of vegetables and buy some fruits and then go to the meat counter and get yourself some chicken and some pork and some uh, seafood and some grass fed beef and go to the dairy section and get some full fat cottage cheese and full fat Greek yogurt that doesn't have a bunch of additives in it. Get yourself some eggs, get yourself some olive oil, get yourself some avocados, get yourself some nuts and seeds. And then when you come home, you've got all of this delicious whole real food that you can make and you can feed yourself that instead of feeding yourself factory pseudo crap. Okay. Um, you're going to find that you're going to be eating way fewer calories and you're going to lose weight and your brain is going to heal. Okay. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to try this for a week, maybe two weeks, week or two. Okay. Try it for a week or two, then come back and leave me a comment and let me know if you noticed any change in the way your brain is functioning about food. Um, I know you'll lose weight. Some of that's going to be water weight, but let me know if you notice any change in the way your brain is functioning around food. Okay. Um, so that's all for today. I will see you next time. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.